So I have been preheating this skillet to where it's hot to the touch for a good 20 minutes now. I've been cooking it with it on about between two and three on the stove. And I'm going to go ahead and cook a bacon and eggs. Now, you can check my previous video out before and it explains how I cook on the glass top stove and preheat it um, if you would like. But once I've got this preheated for a good 20 minutes, first, even though it's bacon, I like to just add just a drop or so of a little avocado oil or olive oil. I'm just going to mix that around in here. Just to help prevent any of the bacon immediately sticking. Don't have to get all in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lay them right in. Again, this has been preheating for about 20 minutes. And we'll let that cook right up. And I'll put some eggs on here in just a moment as well. And the key here also is once you put the bacon in here, just go ahead and let it set. I don't want to mess with it just yet. Just go ahead and let it cook. It's going to cook evenly as long as you preheated it. Uh, don't want to really uh, cook it on high or anything. I just got it preheated to about medium low. That pan that holds uh, the heat in real well so the bacon's going to cook nicely. Starting to see it shrink up just a little bit. Here in just a moment, we'll go ahead and flip it over. Let's see here, it's uh, might have a little stick splash just kind of move in there. Take a look underneath you at that side. Look at that beautiful. Just about time to turn it. I'm just going to give it another few seconds here. Do it a little longer for crispy. All right. Nice and beautiful, consistently cooked through there. Just let that side cook for just a couple of minutes. And after just about uh, five minutes total, you can see how it looks there. Keep it in a little longer if you want it a little crispier. Flip it one more time. So that's about done. Just gonna cook up a little crisp. Now we're just going to go ahead and take that out. 
I'm going to put it on this towel here to soak up some grease. Smells beautiful. Before we cook the egg, I'm just going to drain off some of this grease. I put that in a bowl, let it cool, and when it cools a little bit, I'll save that. Now we're just going to go ahead and cook the egg. It's already ready. It's been preheated. Just use the same grease. Go ahead and add a little salt. Maybe a little pepper. Let's go ahead and check her out. Don't seem to be sticking. Go ahead and flip it here. And that's pretty much done. Of course, if you wanted a little cooked more, you can. I like it a little over easy, so let that set for just a couple seconds. Add that to the plate with bacon there. Got that nice runny flavor of egg right there and your bacon. And there it is. It's the bacon and eggs all completed, ready to be eaten. If you'd like to see how I go ahead and clean up this skillet for the uh, storage of the cast iron skillet, be sure to check out the next video. I'll see you there. Have a great day.